It's like a release. Uh, it's a release schedule. Uh, Thursday, the January 6th DC court appearance is going to happen. August 23rd, 2023 is the first GOP debate. October 2nd, 2023, Trump Organization civil suit. January 15 is the Iowa caucuses, but it also happens to be the E. Jean Carroll civil defamation suit, which, by the way, need not happen. But it did because the first suit came down and Trump was found, uh, I guess technically Trump was liable in the original defamation suit to which he responded by defaming E. Jean Carroll in the same exact manner on CNN. Just remember, they, they literally, like, they're like, oh, yeah, you can't do this. This is, you have to pay E. Jean Carroll money now. And then he turned around and said the exact same thing. A multiple million dollar blunder at this point for Trump. Then there is the pyramid scheme class action lawsuit on January 29, 2024. Uh, on March 5, uh, it is Super Tuesday. March 25th is the New York State criminal hush money suit, which is the Manhattan DA. Then on May 20th, 2024, is the classified docs trial that starts. And July 15th, 2024, is the RNC, the Republican National Convention. And November 5th, 2024, is the election day. Now, of course, there's going to be a lot more in between. If... Uh, you know, some of these things end up uh, being troublesome for him. Or, well, not the civil suits necessarily, but. He will arrange a deal with the Justice Department where he stops running for president and he goes free. I feel like that would be the shittiest outcome. Uh, that would not be great. I do not want that. That is, in many cases, if you're convicted of a crime, that sort of uh, puts you out. In I also don't think that he would do that anyway. But in terms knows? of a job that you may be seeking. Do you think it would be OK for him to be president of the United States if he's convicted of this crime? In a case where there's a political prosecution, there's no doubt that he's going to continue to run. Not, none of these charges preclude him from being president of the United States. Not one. Real quick, the Trump campaign yesterday called this... Uh, Reminiscent of Nazi Germany in the 1930s, the former Soviet Union, and other authoritarian dictatorial regimes. I th also, yeah, I don't even know how you would be able to give him a plea deal like that. The Justice Department can't stop state-level investigations anyway. Uh, the DOJ can, though. And two of the strongest suits are from uh, the Department of Justice. Two of the strongest indictments are coming down from the DOJ and not necessarily the Manhattan DA. There is also a statewide RICO charge that is up uh, right now. Uh, an investigation that's being conducted in that that basically uh, dovetails into the famous phone call. So there's that as well. Oh, here's Donald Trump's uh, retaliation. This is nothing more than the latest corrupt chapter in the continued pathetic attempt by the Biden crime family and their weaponized DOJ to interfere with the 2024 presidential election in which President Trump is the undisputed frontrunner and leading by substantial margins. But why did they wait two and a half years to bring these fake charges right in the middle of President Trump's winning campaign of 2024? Why was it announced the day after the big crooked Joe Biden scandal broke out from the halls of Congress? What was it? Your kiss I need The caption on the main page in your cage Break with what I've built We can't go on without you I hope you'll feel the same way The caption on the main page I won't be locked in your cage We can't go on without you I hope you'll feel the same way The scandal What is the fucking big scandal? That Hunter Biden, it, like, uh, committed tax fraud, tax evasion, and, like, got a gun uh, and, and claimed that he was not under the influence. The 
the Joe and Hunter talked on the phone sometime. Wait, what? That Joe Biden and Hunter Biden talked on the phone. You want to know what's really funny about the Burisma shit? I said this way back in the day when I talked about the Hunter Biden Burisma scandal under the Trump administration, if you recall. What Joe Biden did as vice president, as far as I understood it at the time, maybe I misread it, was quite literally the exact opposite of what Hunter Biden would have wanted for Burisma. Following through with the Ukrainian government to ensure that they uh, take, a, take out a corrupt prosecutor who was not actually following through on their investigation and bring charges to Burisma was exactly the opposite of what you would do if you wanted what's best for your son. If you wanted what's best for your son would be to say, no, 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 keep going with the fucking prosecutor. That's great. This was all known even back then. And when I talked about it, people would say I'm a fucking dick rider for Joe Biden or whatever, or uh, Hunter Biden. However, having said that, Hunter Biden getting a job at Burisma was bullshit. He, that was a nepotism job, 100% a nepotism hire. Burisma most likely thought uh, that uh, they would get uh, away with uh, certain uh, charges with like American influence from the son of the vice president. I do love how Coke getting discovered at the White House was like a one-day story. It would have been a headline for a month back in the day. To be fair, I think Fox News tried to make something happen out of that. But even they were like, yeah, we kind of give up, dog. This is not going anywhere. This is the Biden bombshell. On Monday, Devin Archer blows the whistle on the Biden family. On Tuesday, Donald Trump is indicted for the third time. Anyone who still can't see the corruption of this administration is willfully blind. What? Breaking. Former President Trump has been indicted by a federal grand jury investigating efforts to overturn the 2020 election. You are in a civil war. That's pretty funny. The beanie's tight on my boy, dude. What? I don't care about this shit, dude. Don't fucking send me stuff.